There you go. I want to welcome everybody being here for this um, unveiling, I guess we'll call it, of this um, this wonderful art project up in here. And I, you know, I really, I first want to commend the artists. Um, we have two of them here from Laneda, and uh, they're going to speak a little bit later. If you folks want to just ra raise your hand up so everybody can see you out there and who you are. It's just the, yes. I'm always impressed by by the murals when there's multiple artists doing it and everything just flows together seamlessly as it's one person. And and in this case, this you know, I looked at this and I I can't see where one of you did something or or how you worked it together, but it, it's a fantastic piece of of art about about our you know our coastline, our history, and um, I just think it's adds a great a great piece of. Um, of uh, a viewing here for uh, when people enter inside the county administrative uh, building. Uh, you know, I think we've we all know and realize the the connection that this county has with the sea, and it's this this particular um, this particular mural here draws upon the uh, the the Asian um, Italian influence into uh, into the connection with the sea and fishing into there, but this is. Obviously, we've had you know connection going back to indigenous people here. Um, uh, you know, there's Spanish and Mexican rule. It's obviously played a big part. Uh, uh, this is how California was was discovered by Europeans and discovered long before then by the native uh, the native uh, Americans that were here, of course. But they had a real reliance upon it, and I think um, I think this kind of gets the uh, the the gist of that. But you know, we have a developing. A developing a relationship with the uh, with the sea, and it's been traditionally a a, a source of substance, uh, subsistence, subsistence. Excuse me, and what um, what we're seeing now is it's it's transforming more into we're seeing science with the submarine canyon that's out there, the Monterey Bay submarine canyon, and the um, and how that's changing to tourism. So I, I think it's really appropriate that we have this up here uh, to touch upon the history as we go and evolve into new parts of this. I um, you know, just also want to mention, I think what's really kind of unique about, uh, about, about Monterey County as opposed to some other coastal counties around here is we really got two ports, not just one port. We got Monterey, we got Moss Landing. And you know, this kind of touches upon the... Um, uh, the, the points in uh, both of those. So with that, I, uh, I really want to bring up one of the people that's really responsible for this too, and um, that would be um, Supervisor Lopez. So this mural is part of a larger project, right? It's It was uh, in, initially envisioned as two murals, really speaking to the importance of are at times talked about divided community, right? By bringing both into one building, into a place where we attempt every single day to break down that lattice curtain and work together to work forward for all Monterey County residents. We know that art can play such a pivotal role in assisting us in making those decisions. A lot of that is understanding who we are, where we come from and where we're going. We don't, can't decide where we're going if we don't know where we came from. So I want to thank the artists for these beautiful pieces that have gone up here in both stairwells, but really thinking about the piece that's newly adorning this wall. To me, it tells about, it talks about our history, right? And the fact that what's promised is that change will always come in one form or another. As I look at the faces there, like I looked at the faces in the stairwell on the other side of the building, I see my ancestors, I see the stories of the people who've made this region as special as it is, but also an understanding that things will not always remain where they are, right? I often ask people, when the Latinos are done harvesting the fields, who will come next? Because it wasn't always us, it was the Filipinos before, right? And it was a different industry even before that. We're constantly in moments of change, but if we don't understand where we came from, we can't build a better vision for where to go together. These murals capture those moments in time that have made Monterey County a special place to live and be a part of. So when I look up at that wall and I think of my friends with the Italian ancestry, Chinese ancestry who call, who call to their roots. And when they call to those roots, they, found, they find them sunk into the soil of Monterey County, whether it's on the coast or in the valley. 
That's what speaks to my heart in this piece. So I want to thank you for evoking those images and for speaking that truth to community. I know art can be interpreted. That's my interpretation of your beautiful work. And I just want to thank you for taking the time to assist us in bringing this beauty into a space that really belongs to the entire community, no matter status, no matter race, creed, religion. This building is to do the work of all people in Monterey County and the mural that you've brought into this space commits to that. As part of that, I want to thank the Arts Council for being such a critical partner in putting these pieces up in this space. They've been a partner to us as a county for many years. I spent almost 10 years on the council, so I know the work that it takes to make something like this happen. But your vision brought to life in partnership with the Arts Council and us as an entity is something for the whole community to enjoy. So thank you for your work and thank you for all that you've brought into this space. And with that, it's my great pleasure to introduce our fearless leader, CAO, Sonia De La Rosa. I also want to add my thanks to the Arts Council and, quite frankly, for allowing us to work with them and really use this building as a art gallery of sorts for anybody that comes into our building to be able to look at art and also to connect with the people that have been here, not just on the east side of, of our of our building, do we represent the Salinas Valley, the Salinas region, but also the coastal region that is now represented with, with the uh, mural that's up on this side of the building. And truly, as you travel in our building, there are so many opportunities to explore and look at our and really appreciate our community in different ways, in varying ways from you know, the impacts of going through a traumatic event to really just capturing the beauty of flowers. And that's what the Arts Council does. So I truly want to convey my thanks as well. I'm also going to share my time with Supervisor Alejo, who would like to, to present something to our artists today. So Supervisor Alejo. Thank you very much. Everyone, uh, today's a beautiful day in Monterey County, once again celebrating the power of public art. I always like to say that Monterey County was the place, uh, the, the beginnings of the California story. This was the first capital of this state uh, under Spain and under Mexico. And then, as Chris rightly pointed out, many ways of immigration that today make up the diverse and resilient and hardworking people of Monterey County. So that's what this mural for me celebrates, the diversity that we have, the stories, so that when our residents come in, they could see themselves reflected in the public art that is displayed on our own county uh, government walls. Uh, today, we want to recognize these amazing artists that have not only done this piece, but many pieces throughout our county. And uh, they're not the first. There's many, many generations of artists before them who have done amazing murals throughout Monterey County, especially here in Salinas. These are the next generation of artists. Uh, th th we're going to recognize La Neta murals. Um, they started La Neta murals in 2020 by five artists. Uh, um, all here locally from the Monterey Bay, and they have been doing murals um, since then throughout the county, most recently with the Cal Trans projects under our highways. Um, amazing uh, pieces of art here in our community. And La Neta means the truth. So the truth is definitely re uh, dis displayed here in this mural. So today, first of all, we have two of the five here, uh, but I want to recognize the other two, the other three that are not here, C. Sevilla, Avelino Sandher, and Gerardo Zambrano. But today with us, we do have the honor to have Arsenio Baca, and we could present him with his recognition here today. Thank you very much. Give him a round of applause. And we're also very honored to have Natalia Caraza uh, uh, Car with us as well. Thank you very much for um, your beautiful art that you've done here today as well. So now we'd like to have Lori Bend join us and provide some comments. Thank you everyone for being here. It's so wonderful to see everybody so excited about this lovely piece of art. About 18 months ago, the Arts Council commissioned Jose Ortiz and Hijos del Sol to design and paint a mural in the east side stairwell representing Salinas Valley. This mural is in, in the west side stairwell, was designed to focus on the Monterey Peninsula community, culture and historical landmarks with nature as a backdrop. And also, I lost my place. I'm not the public speaker that you've been listening to here. So thank you, supervisors, um, for all of your statements. Also, to balance the color palette of the east side 
stairwell designed by Jose Ortiz to create a cohesive design plan. The Arts Council commissioned Lanetta Murals, a peninsula-based murals muralist group for this project. They are composed of Arsenio Baca, Cea Sevilla, Avelino Sanher, Gerardo Zambrano, and Natalia Carrazzo, which two of them are here and have been um, given those beautiful certificates. This was established as a way to combine the skills of five distinct artists to collaborate on a large scale project for the community, such as this one. We're so proud of the talented artists and thanks to our County Board of Supervisors for their support of the arts and culture in our community. We're so thankful that Arts Council is a part of this. So thank you, everyone. Now we'll have the artist Arsenio and Natalia. I'll, I'll provide some comments. Hi, everyone. I'm Natalia Curazza. Um, I'm Arsenio Baca. And we're two of the artists from La Neta Murals. And I first want to take the time to thank Arts Council and specifically Karen Lee Garcia for always being really easy to work with, fun to work with, and for always advocating for us and for sharing our passion for public arts. And I also want to uh, thank Arsenio for being such a great partner to work with. Um, we always prioritize each other's safety, and I know that I can always trust him, count on him, and it makes, you know, painting the murals even more fun. Um, this mural for me was specifically really um, enjoyable and I feel really honored. I was born and raised in Monterey and um, I grew up going to the aquarium, walking along the coast. I learned the local history at school. So for me, when I, you know, we worked on this design together, it just felt like I look at it and I feel like that's home and I want, you know, other people to feel that too. Um, I do want to recognize too Jose Ortiz's um, masterpiece on the other side. We did uh, take inspiration from his color palette. And uh, just, I also look up to him as a role model and um, the same feelings that he evokes with his murals, I want to be able to do that with mine um, and with ours together. Um, and thank you everyone for being here to the supervisors um, and to Salinas for doing such a great job in um, promoting public art. Yeah, just echoing what she says, thank you very much to everyone involved for, you know, trusting us with the, with these projects. Uh, us as artists, we're most of the time just used to staring at a wall and, and being in our studio. So public speaking isn't something that I'm so very used to, but uh, I do want you all to be very, make it clear that us as La Neta, we came together to be a bridge for artists in this community. Uh, we may be in Monterey, but we love coming out to Salinas. We consider this our home just as much as Monterey. And uh, is, uh, my personal goal is to really connect with all artists everywhere and make sure that they understand that there doesn't need to be this veil between us. Like we, that's a big part of why we love coming out here and interacting with this community is to show that we're all not different. We're all the same. And uh, we're very proud to be able to bring our art to this side of the peninsula. And uh, hopefully we can continue to create art everywhere and continue to share the stories of all of our ancestors. Like that's such a huge part of it for me. So thank you for the opportunity, Karen. Thank you for advocating for us and to all the supervisors for you know, taking good care of us and everyone involved. We appreciate it. Two, three. Yeah. Yeah.